Learning English, there's no one-size-fits-all program. School districts across Texas are having to find different ways to teach students so they can succeed in and out of the classroom. ABC 7's Josie Ortegon has more. It's not about learning English. It's about learning in English and another language. Dr. Elena Izquierdo, a UTEP professor, says Spanish-speaking students need both languages integrated in the classroom, focusing on content and language development. In fact, researchers at Stanford University found students actually learn better when they learn in both languages. Whether you look at it on national scores, with the National, Associ national Assessment of Educational Progress, or if you look at them on state scores, you're Hispanic English learners are your lowest performing. Here in El Paso, school districts are working to improve that. EPISD and YISD's dual language programs were recently highlighted in an article by The Atlantic. EPISD, which serves more than 10,000 bilingual students and more than 3,500 Spanish-speaking students, recently expanded its program to nine elementary schools and one middle school. On a normal school day, a student spends half their time learning in English and the other half in Spanish. At YISD, it's 90% Spanish and 10% English. Each year, the English portion increases by 10%. By the time a student is a fourth or fifth grader, the school has developed a bilingual and biliterate student. So it's not focusing on either or or, but on both. It should happen concurrent with the English language acquisition and the academic language acquisition that they will need to be successful. Not when they're in our schools or taking the state mandated tests, but when they're actually going to colleges and universities. Joe Sertagon, ABC7.